Hey guys, my name is Stan Lopez. This is Kai Freitas. What's up, what? guys? Yeah. Am I saying your last name correctly? Freitas. We're here at his flip in Sun City, Summerlin. What's up, guys? Yeah, so I have a fix and flip that's over here in uh, Summerlin, closer to the Rampart side um, on Firebird. Um, just listed it for sale for $620. Uh, we did a full, pretty much a uh, full gut from start to finish. About 1800 square foot San Marino model. Um, let's go check it out. Right before we walk into this beautiful home that you got right here, how long did this project take? Uh, about a month. Just a month? Just a month. And did you get this property on market, off market? Um, so I got it from another wholesaler actually who bought it on market. So um, if the deal makes sense, it makes sense. Um, we bunch, went through the numbers, it had an addition. Um, it wasn't really factoring in the comps that were in the area. So when I saw the deal, I jumped on it, was able to get it through that um, wholesaler. And if you have any, any tips for any new investor, what's the best way to get a deal? F Facebook marketplaces, um, networking with other uh, investors like Stan, uh, myself, and just going out there and just taking action. Let's go check it out, guys. All right, guys, we're now inside the remodeled house. Um, right now, if you look to your left here, we opened this floor plan completely up. Um, this right now has an addition. This is why we have this metal steel pole here. Um, opened up about another 150 square feet. Here was uh, a small living area. This was actually where the slide, the back door, where they pushed it back as the outdoor covered patio. And I was able to maximize 150 square feet. So this floor plan is actually now 1809. Um, as you can see here, it's completely open from the kitchen. You have a nine foot island. Uh, we had walls that were starting here and actually went all the way to the kitchen. It was a completely closed off. Uh, we had two dining areas now. You have one, also the, the fridge and the kitchen um, layout is completely different where it's closed up. Now we are able to put a pantry in, which we never had before. I like the color scheme. I love the whites, the grays, and the white countertops. What made you choose these types of materials versus other ones out on the market? Um, right now, quartz is in, um, reasonably priced um, in stock. So I went with a prefab. Um, it looked really nice, almost like a Calcutta Italian marble. Um, when I was looking at the design of this place, we just really looked at what was available to us and what was a reasonable cost. So that's how I came up with the imaging. Um, obviously, white sugar cabinets are in, the white with the black accents were really popular right now. So that's how I came up with the idea. And also, just looking at model matches in the area, um, just copy and paste. And real quick, follow me. I want to show you guys something. This is something that I saw the other day when I came to kind of this place is this sink. This is a very attractive sink. So I know I was asking you the other day and you said that you can buy this in Amazon. Yeah. So at $3.99 on Amazon, I was able to get everything delivered and shipped to the house within one or two days. Um, we went with a drop-in sink just because it was a little easier. It cut costs down on fabrication, on polishing. So. Uh, I, I love this drop-in sink. It's a big 30-inch drop-in. Really nice. So let's go check out the rooms. Cool. So Kai, we're walking right now towards your master primary area. And yep. so tell me what you guys got right here. All right. So two bedroom, two bath. This is the first guest bathroom in the hall. Um, we went with the full tile to the ceiling look just to make it look like a wow factor when you came across. Um, we went with the pedestal sinks, um, kind of like a just a new look that I was going for that was not really um, popular, but something different that I thought it popped out. Awesome. And so we got one bedroom right here, which is your standard. Uh, actually, it's a little bit bigger than a standard, right? It's yeah, it's about 11 by 11. Um, what was cool about this too, it had a bookshelf already pre-existing in there. So we just painted it white to give it that pop and you know make it kind of blend with the rest of the house. But new ceiling fans in every bedroom. Awesome. I love this look, and you got the white, you got the black, we got, you got the grays in here. This is pretty nice for you know any type of home. It's popular in the 2022 standards. So this is your master bathroom. I love what you did with the backsplash right here on the wall. Very very attractive. You got the, the black. Uh, black shooters <laughs> trim. Um, black just, trims. Yeah, yeah, the black trim on the side. Um, just a nice you know standard shower. Also on Amazon. Got the nice handheld um, for. Um, the senior citizens where they're able to still take a shower. I'm not sure if we actually mentioned this, but this is a 55 and older community, right? Yeah, 55 and older. Okay, awesome. And right now we're walking into the primary bedroom. Yep. Yep. So 
awesome bedroom layout, put a nice fifth to an inch ceiling fan. It has the plantation shutters. Um, as we walk past here, you have a nice walk-in closet and then you also have another closet, most likely for the hits. It's very different from the backyards I've always been accustomed to. You got, you know, you got a very open space and you can actually see the backyard from other people's backyard, right? Yeah. So this is uh, what's awesome about this property in particular is we're in a cul-de-sac. This is actually a corner unit. It's almost uh, right under a quarter acre, um, but the layout of this is very, um, you know, relaxing. There is a garden on the other side if you want to plant vegetables, if you want to go out uh, and plant, you know, some of your uh, basils, arugula. Like this, you have a little, is it pergola? Pergola. Call them pergola. Yeah. I have uh, like an awning almost in a sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, nice. It gives a lot of shade, especially in the summers that are hot out here. You got a nice little water feature, especially if you're outside. Um, if you're barbecuing back here, the water feature goes on. Nice little touch. Over. We're now back in the kitchen area. Just wanted to ask you a few more questions before we end this. Um, and we really appreciate you giving us the time to oversee your, your new flip. But what was the most important thing that you learned about fixing this property? When you're finding a contractor, I think making sure you find somebody that you trust and build a really good relationship with not so much the numbers, obviously the numbers need to make sense, but really finding somebody who you can actually trust. On this project, I learned that uh, it takes a lot of rapport building when you have somebody that's you know with your investment. The numbers can go really sideways really quickly, especially when you're not there and managing it every single day. So I didn't have a project manager on here. I self-manage everything myself, so I learned a lot through the process, um, especially keeping the numbers tight. Uh, what was the deal breakdown you got from the property, from the purchase price to yep. rehab costs and you know your, um, your after repair value? Yeah, so I, I bought this from another wholesaler. They actually put it under contract for 450. I bought it at 470 um, with the holding costs and closing costs is about 30,000. That's with the hard money lender. Um, we bought a $40,000 in rehab with commissions and everything on the market. I listed at 620, all in will be at four, uh, 555. Very nice. All right, well, appreciate that. Uh, all right, well, and how can they find you? And how, what, do you have any social medias? Yeah, so I'm a realtor substitute here in Las Vegas. Um, I love fix and flip, so that's where I'm mainly focused on right now. So if you have any deals in Las Vegas, shoot me a DM at Kai Freitas or uh, text message at 702-885-3421. Um, even if you guys need help with anything, underwriting deals, comping properties, just shoot me a text. Um, um, here in Vegas uh, with Stan Romero, we'd love to hook up and squat up. Awesome. Well, and by the way, we didn't mention this, but Kai is from the 808 state of Hawaii and so on. The local boy up in yeah. Ninth Island. All right, Kai. Appreciate your time. Thanks awesome. for having me. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it.